to the United States in order to uh, comply with this agreement and say that it's... We will wait, we'll wait and see what will happen in the Security Council because I'm not in the picture of all the items mentioned in the agreement. But the agreement as a whole, and as I heard from the, in the press conference, is very encouraging. <laughs> I sincerely hope that this can be achieved uh, tomorrow uh, by endorsing, fully endorsing uh, the uh, position taken by Mr. Kofi Annan and the agreement signed today between Mr. Tariq Aziz and uh, Mr. Kofi Annan. I think uh, this is a turning point in the uh, history of this area, in the history of international relations. Yes, there are problems, there are different points of view. But uh, the most important thing that has been achieved, I think, yesterday is to avoid a military confrontation. Good morning, Mr. Anani. I'd like to hear your reaction towards the agreement signed between the UN and Iraq. Well, I think uh, uh, this is good news because it has uh, evaded a major strike in the area and I think uh, this uh, hopefully would set uh, a new tone for uh, gentle art of dialogue and engagement in the real issues, such as making peace in the region. I consider this to be a result, on the basis that Iraq has been in the world of the world. My friend, then, هالبلد الصغير اللي تكالبت عليه كل قوى الاستعمار واللوب الصهيوني ارادوا ان يضعفوا العراق ان شاء الله بقوه الشعب بقوه الطيبين ما يضعف ونعتبر انتصار هذا so I think this is a good news because nobody wants war especially we are in Kuwait we are peaceful country and we are peaceful uh, love peace so um, we are encouraged very much but again at the same time we have to be very very careful that Saddam will implement the signature which he signed I'm trying to get back but it's very hard to get into well I think in the Iraqi national accord we said right from the beginning that uh, this dictator will back down whenever he feels there's an immediate danger which threatens him or his regime from uh, first things leaked about the agreement, it seems that he backed down and agreed upon uh, giving INSCOM free movement and free hands in Iraq without any time limitation. But from f previous experience as well, this dictator always abused his agreements. Therefore, we think the only solution is to give Iraqi people their peace and give the region its stability by uh, helping the Iraqi people to get rid of this regime and establish democracy in Iraq.